It was the extraordinary moment the home of Scotland's former First Minister was swarming with police. The day Nicola Sturgeon's husband was detained by detectives investigating SNP finances. Ex-Chief Executive Peter Murrell later released without charge. We've increased support from the last poll and it shows that Labour has fallen behind. So anyway, Weeks before, the Sky News debate was in full flow as the candidates in the race to replace Sturgeon fought live on TV. The stakes were high. And now this document obtained from Police Scotland shows what was happening behind the scenes at the time. It suggests officers made a formal request to prosecutors to search the home of the former First Minister while the SNP contest was still going on. But crucially, it wasn't given the green light until Hamza Youssef was installed as the new leader and the race was over. The head of Scotland's prosecution service refused to tell Sky News whether this was a deliberate delay. Did you know about it personally? The Crown Office and Procurator Fiscal Service Dorothy staff. Bain is Scotland's most senior law officer, but also sits in the Scottish Government Cabinet as Chief Legal Advisor. If push comes to shove, we're going to have to have a judge-led inquiry. We simply cannot have political interference in the uh, legal and justice system in Scotland. I'm disappointed that the Lord Advocate hasn't been quite clear and refuted this. Uh, this seems to give legs to the suggestion that somebody in the Crown Office has slowed down a prosecution, or investigation rather, uh, and that is simply unacceptable. Prosecutors say Dorothy Bain has nothing to do with cases where politicians are involved, but questions are mounting and the police investigation is not over. Connor Gillis, Sky News, Edinburgh.